what's up guys how are you i know i haven't really posted in a minute probably like two weeks or so it's because like this postpartum has been doing me in and we're gonna talk about it let's talk about it so i just get out the house this video it's just gonna be talking to be honest as i drive because i have a few runs to make but However, like postpartum been beating my butt. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, it made me, this pregnancy honestly, made me don't want to have any more kids. Like this, my last son. Having him made me don't want to have any more kids. Like, it really, it really traumatized me, you know? Like, it seriously, it seriously traumatized me where to the point I don't want to even look or even have the thought about having another kid. It was just too much. Like, a part with, let's talk about the pregnancy, the pregnancy part, like going through all of the pain, the headaches and stuff, I was miserable. At the beginning part, I was sick. Like the beginning part of my pregnancy, I was working, I worked through my pregnancy, but I was completely sick. I was so sick, I had to take like two months off from work because I didn't have the energy. Like, I was vomiting, I was barely eating, I was always nauseous. I just wanted to lay down and sleep. I was tired, it was a lot at once, and so I had to take off from work to be honest, guys. And then when I came back to work around five months or six months, it became better. Like, it wasn't as bad as it was in the beginning, you know? So, it was more like the headaches and stuff that I was experiencing that was driving me nuts. But other than that, it wasn't, like, nothing really bad. And then I got tired of being pregnant. Like, I was high risk, so I was seeing, like, a high risk doctor. And so... It was like too much. It was just traumatizing. And I was tired of being pregnant. I was like, okay, I just need to hurry up and get burnt because this right here is like not for me. It's not for me. I ain't gonna lie. And then from that, my labor experience was wait, before my labor experience, what I hate the most of a pregnancy is that pelvic pressure. Like that pelvic pain you be having when the baby person really low. Like I hated that. Like it was so bad. I cried. I was sick of it. Then the, the crumping. Oh my God. I hated it all. I was like, I'm about done being pregnant. Like, come on now. So when I induced my labor, because I didn't want, I felt like I was gonna go 40 weeks, to be honest. So I was like, you know what, I'm not having it. He needs to come as soon as I'm full term. I'm gonna try and get him to come early. And I induced my labor at 38 weeks and it was successful to be honest. It was really successful and be pretty much because he was already ready. Like he was starting to come outside. I think that's why it worked. Because if the baby not ready, he not the baby not gonna come no matter how much time you try to induce that. It's not gonna come. Unless the baby's ready or your body's ready. So went through all of that. That labor experience was a tough one because I went pretty much all natural straight to 10 centimeters so it was the worst ever I tried to be super woman saying I'm gonna go ahead and go all natural and be the big guy and listen I said never again like at first I lasted up to seven centimeters it was okay it was like bearable up to seven centimeters. I felt like I didn't need the epidural, but here's the trick with the epidural. But um, when I reached the seven centimeters, because I, I was dilating like very quickly when I was at the hospital, because the reason why was because my nurse, she had me up. So this is a tip for all y'all that going to labor. When they have you in the bed, do not... I repeat, do not just lay down and wait for yourself to dilate till it's time to push. Do not. I'm telling you, you're going to be there all day. If you want to have baby within two hours or less, 
listen simply go when you reach there ask them for you to sit up adjust your chair they cannot force you to continue to lay down adjust your chair that's number one make sure you adjust your chair whereas you will be sitting up so when that pin comes gravity will push it down that's your number one what you need to focus on okay and then once you do that oh this car take my parking spot oh so once you do that and you focus on that focus on your breathing people underestimate the breathing part so bad listen focus on your breathing it is very important you know and it's not just breathing in and breathing out it's not just that when you're breathing make like lay back relax your shoulders you can see you if you watch my labor and delivery video you could have seen where um i'm gonna take this person parking spot you could have saw where wait i'm gonna finish take this parking spot anyway if you watch my video you could have saw where the lady was telling me to um breathe in the chair so like instead of doing this just lay down and like sink in the chair let your pain sink in the in the bed it it help i'm telling you it's almost like a meditation and it help you to tolerate the pain when that pain hit me baby that pain that hit me was don't look at me like that the pain that hit me was when they burst my water bag at seven centimeters they popped my water bag at seven centimeters and listen to me when i say two seconds after that the pain was licking I ain't even finna play with this car. Go ahead, mom. I'm not finna play with this car. Cause you ain't finna drive up. And this parking spot, hey baby, I've been waiting on this car. And if you think I'm finna let you come in this parking spot, and I've been sitting out here waiting, you tell a whole lie. I care. I mean, that car just pulled up. Like they ain't see me about to come in here. Where we doing the most? Yeah, so I'm about to go on Walmart right now. So pretty much like when I burst my water bike, that's when all hell break loose. It was just like game over. It was like hell on earth. And I couldn't take it. Girl, I saw I started to take it after a while, but Oh, let me tell you what they made me do. After they made me relax, they like made me stand up. So I was out of the bed and I was doing some squats. And when I was doing some squats, um, I walked a bit, like right around the bed. I walked, I walked to my spot and I just hold on and I just hunched over. I put my leg up on something that was on the floor when contractions come to help with gravity. Baby, I was dilating like this. It wasn't even taking long. So. Right after that burst my water bag, I was seven centimeters. I started crying. I was crying. I begged them for the epidural. I said, I really need the epidural. And it took about 30 minutes to come. So let's say an hour. One hour. They came and put the epidural in. Was As soon as that woman took that needle, that epidural needle out, and they checked me. They checked me right after. I was 10 centimeters, and that baby head was right there in my hole. Literally. Like. I did, she was didn't even give me the epidural because I didn't need it. Soon as she took the epidural needle out was when I was 10 centimeters and the baby head was coming out. As soon as she took the epidural needle out and they checked me. So that's like, we really didn't even need this because you pretty much went natural. You went your whole labor natural. Only my delivery was not natural. My delivery, I was on the epidural, like pushing the baby out. But my whole labor process with the contractions was all natural. And it made me don't want no more kids. And like we waited on Sean too because he he couldn't find where we were. He couldn't find where we were, and so he was up and down in the hospital trying to find us. So that's like we could wait on him. So the baby head was in my hole, and we just was waiting for him to come. As soon as he come, I started pushing. He almost passed out. They said I couldn't record the pushing process, but I could take pictures. 
I should have told babe sneak and record it still. But anyway, I, I still felt good that we actually got pictures of that moment. And he got that moment. All I care was that he was there. And he got that moment to see what I had to go through to bring his son in this world. And so that's all I cared about, to be honest. So, yeah. And it was like a good feeling. But, yeah. That's how that went. And so, just in here. Yeah, but postpartum me beat my butt. I have not rest um, since I had baby. I know it's October. I had not rest. I had not sleep. I'm not resting. I barely eat. All I eat is Oreos and cookies. That's pretty much it. Like, it's been really bad for me, y'all. I'm like a walking zombie. I'm still pushing. I'm still trying to keep going, you know, for my kids. Because I have two other kids that I got to care for. Oh, let me take this off. As well with the newborn. So, it's kind of a little hard. Ooh. I'm going to upload this video just like this. Because I said, let me just go ahead and talk to y'all. But I do want to congratulate myself. You know, I found some... I got some subscribers and I'm so happy, you know. I'm so happy to enlighten y'all and to bring y'all in my life. But like I told y'all, my life is like busybody. Like it's busybody. <laughs> my life, I wouldn't say it's boring, but it's like busy. I have a busy life. And so we on Thanksgiving break. So I'm off from work. Kids out of school because I'm a teacher. So when they out, I'm out. And so we just, I'm about to go in this Walmart. I hope the hair not packed, but I'm gonna record when I come back up. So, guys, my camera cut off and I never turned it back on to finish record. When I was at Walmart, we ran out, just dropped baby day day off to my aunt, and so I am just heading home. I'm on 75. I ain't gonna lie, this is my favorite expressway to go. It's 75. Like, I know 75 from the back of my head. I'll always drive on 75 because it's so easy to drive, honestly. Like, I mean, one says easy to drive because you do have some crazy drivers. And this this 75 takes you straight to Florida. Takes you straight to, um, I think it takes you straight to Tennessee, too. But I know it takes you to Florida because like, we come on this all the time when we home. Um, I'm driving down to Florida, but this one straight road will take you there. But I just like it because it isn't difficult to understand, you know. But 285, baby, I hate driving on 285 with everything. My everybody knows who knows me. I do not like to be on Highway 285. That expressway is the most crazy expressway where all the accidents be because it's ridiculous. So I just dropped baby Day Day off in Stockbridge, and I'm heading back to Riverdale to get on home. I'm going to rest since I don't have him to deal with today. I'm going to rest for sure. Yeah, I'm going to rest for sure, for sure. I wanted to get my toes and my nails done, but I'm going to do that probably on Friday. Ooh, I ain't have no time to do it on Friday, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I probably will hold out on it, to be honest. Oh, call a call to me. Hold on. So, yeah, guys. I'm sorry I had to answer that phone call. But, like I was saying, I got real busy. I don't even know what I was saying, to be honest. I was, like, so, so attracted and distracted. But I'm in the car. I'm about to head over red. So, I said, ooh. Oh. I'm tired. I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity. So this opportunity, I have to rest because Fede is not here. Until I pick him up tonight, I have the opportunity to actually rest. So, I'm going to take advantage of this moment. And I'm going to head home. But if this is your first time watching my videos, go ahead and hit the, the subscribe button, like, comment, share. I will be giving more contact content. Um, yeah, I will be giving more content. I'm going to try my best to post more consistently as soon as I find time. But I am recording tomorrow because tomorrow's Thanksgiving dinner, period. And so I will be recording that as well. You know, to show y'all what's popping. 
<laughs> but that's it for our video. I'll see y'all in our next video.